Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Megalomaniac 32 Hard from Johans. Now I've played some of Johans maps before and they've been, some of them been okay, some of them not so okay. So we'll see how this one goes. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate your support. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. Three rooms in one, medium to hard. Don't hurry and look around. Look around, all right. Look around. Look around. Jump up, jump up, and look around. All right, well. Must be behind glass. And dot. So I'm gonna need two cubes then to get into there. Alright. Is there anything over here for us to look at? There is a lasered off area there. And a lasered off area here. Uh, we don't want to position this, so it'll be... Okay. I put a portal saw around there. Can't, because of the fizzler. Because of the fizzler. F -f -f fizzler. actually up there. There's another one there, look. So there's one on either side. So if I got this and went onto the light bridge and put that there and put that there. We should be able to safely traverse this. Alright, so that gives me the three cubes I need to get up into that area. Does one get out without dying? It's not a bad question. No, seriously, how do I get out without dying? wrong pole. Am I meant to like jump this and I can do that. The only other way, and I really don't want to do it that way, would be to drop down. Alright, so the other way I could think of doing it 
would be. I gotta reset that now as well, haven't I? I don't particularly like this way. Because literally, the minute I go through there, I die. So I, I think walking across. Walking across the Fizzler Arm is probably. the way. The only other thing I could think would be to do something like this. And hope that you can get through there like that. But. Hmm. Anywho. Moving swiftly on. Sorry, guys. My wife came in with cake. And of course, you have to eat cake. It's the law. Alright, so. I was thinking something like that, but. Can I lower this, actually? So yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing there. Just to open that up. there for decoration. Uh, I wouldn't really I would say that, that turret doesn't really provide anything in relation to the puzzle, so Okay. That weird sort of funnel dropout thing. Um Am I supposed to do that? Once we're here, then we can do this again. Does that turn both of them off? No. 
I suppose I could just throw that down there like that. And run over here. And then... Just something like that. Um... I think you got some good ideas on reuse of elements, but I think overall the map was cramped. Um, that first area especially. Um, was I meant to do what I did? Uh, what did I even do here? I walked across the fizzler arm here, didn't I? So yeah, was I meant to walk across this fizzler arm here to get out here? Um, I don't see another way to do it. But everything's really cramped. It's really like quite close together. Um... This room kind of doesn't need to exist, in my opinion. It's just um, pointing the laser into the catcher, so it's kind of a bit of a pointless area. Um, this one was was okay. Uh, like I said, the turret, though, was pretty pointless. I didn't really see the, the purpose of the turret at all in this one. So, um, yeah, I'm sort of on the fence about this one. But um, one of the better ones that I have played. Well, probably in the middle. It's not good, it's not bad. That's what I'm trying to say. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any messages to make, please leave the comments or to my Google form. I'll link to that in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.